Well, good morning, guys. How's it going? So, what we're going to do today is we are. What we're going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to download uh, Apocalypse Now mod. Okay. So, I'm going to come out of there. Uh, so, what do you want today? If you got your seven days to die, you want to copy it. Okay. Now, obviously, then you want to put it in there because I've already got one in there. So you could choose whatever drive you want. So what we're going to do is we are going to paste it in here. So we'll let that do its thing. And in the meantime. What you want today is uh, you could either go to Nexus Mods or on uh, Discord and uh, you can find the mod. So you press on that mod and uh, basically you just download it. Okay? Now once it's downloaded, uh, you will find it in your downloads folder. Okay, now there it is there. So we'll wait for this to get done. Now obviously I've already downloaded it, uh, so uh, once it's downloaded it will go into your uh, downloads folders, your downloads. So I'm just going to wait for this to uh, copy. I always use a, a copy of 7 Days to Die, uh, that way I keep my mod scheme separate from the normal game. Okay, nearly done. There we go. Now we'll say rename it. The wrong one. Rename it. You could rename it whatever you want. Okay. Now we'll go up and downloads folder. Okay. Now I did notice one thing about this. Now, it says the fog lips now stable, right? Now, if you go to extract it, it'll extract this in your seven days of die. So if you click on that, you go to mods, and you go to extract it. Uh, we will go here, disk key, up now, test, select folder, and extract it. Now let this do its thing. And one of the common mistakes I've seen on it is if you extract it from this, it will actually put this file in it. And uh, you've got to open up the file. Find the mods folder. And uh, copy the mods folder, put it into that one, and uh, delete the main one. Uh, and because if you don't do that then you load up the game then obviously it's not going to work 
Maybe we should actually done it that way to stay show you. Uh, see what comes up. Ah, see? There's the common problem. That's what happens. And I think a lot of people get mixed up. You don't get the mods folders in here. All you've got is the app now stable main. So all you have to do is you go on here, uh, you copy it, go back, paste it. Okay. Then we'll paste the mods folder in there. Now, I think that's where a lot of people get mixed up and they find out the game's not actually working because of this. Because it puts this in there instead of this. So what we'll have to do... Uh, but before we do that, go into Steam. There we go. It's easy, easily to get caught out that way. I've been caught out a few times myself, you know, when I, I first started, you know, because I'm not PC savvy myself. have to delete that. There we go. And we go in the mods. And there we are. So the mods in and what we want to do is we can either go in the launcher but you don't want to go in that. But Steam's open. Uh so we just press on this and you'll see that it loads up no problem. wanted to uh, go one step further what you could do is go to your games and you add a non steam game to your library so you browse uh, you go this PC disky uh, that now test it's this one here uh, so you've got that okay now you add the selected program right we're not going to do that but you add select it program okay now uh you go home okay now what you want to do is you go a uh, properties and what you do is you leave in seven days to die but you add something else on the end of it okay now you've done that and it should come up and tell you like that response apocalypse now okay then what you want to do is that you want to add it to favorites so i'll put it up here <laughs> then what you want to do is you want to go to manage uh then you go on to there add a desktop shortcut so you click on the desktop shortcut which is uh which is here okay 
okay well, this is that's not that one okay now, we don't need that one anymore so we could delete it but i have it on i have it, i have it someplace if i could get back in here uh, i want to see uh, where about steam steam apps common 70s that I pop ups now and stuff like that so that's how you uh, uh, install it now as I said the uh, the problem I've had is it sticks this folder so you've got to like double click on it and you've got to yeah so I think that's how it's not working for a lot of people but anyway that's how it's done. So I hope this has helped. Uh, hope this has helped people. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.